Y'all, when I share my screen and we dive deeper into these two video clips that I want to share with you all, you are going to laugh so hard, okay? Because what it shows is just how much I was right. It shows just how much men are checked out and done and just how regretful a lot of women are today. See, not too long ago, we highlighted this video clip here. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. But we highlighted this particular video clip here and we had a whole live stream about it. And I want to actually replay it for you all again and then get into the other clip that just had me laughing my entire behind off. Because again, it shows that these females are all cap. They're all full of lies. They're fronting. They're trying to cope and save face. They know that they have made grand mistakes by trying to X men out, use men up, play on y'all's emotions and, you know, intelligence. They really screwed themselves. I kept telling y'all about female nature. You cannot run from it. You cannot escape who you are, ma'am. You need a man. You want a man. You love men. It's the way that the universe, nature, God, whatever you want to call it, it's the way that you were designed, okay? So it doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how much you try to go in dibble and dabble in alternative lifestyles, which she brings up. You'll always go back to, I need a man. Okay, now again, it's no shade to anybody's lifestyle. Okay, do what you want to do. I'm just saying, like, the proof keeps getting in the pudding. And so we got to highlight it. We got to talk about it. But let's go ahead and get into this, you all. Because when I saw this, I said, yeah, I told you so. But this lady right here, and we played this before, but she was pretty much highlighting how a lot of young men again, 60% and above, you know, are pretty much done with dating. A lot of them are single. They don't see the significance, the value, the importance of settling down, of dating, having X, and y'all know what that is, um, and the whole nine. And she tried to give an excuse for women by saying it's because, you know, we don't need men anymore and we're dating each other. And... Again, no shade, no tea, but word on the curb is, you know, the alternative lifestyles that women are living with each other, that's not panning out to be that healthy. A lot of the statistics show that you all have the highest divorce rates. It shows that you all are slapping each other up more. Um, and it's just way more toxic, you know, and y'all can do your own research, but just to give y'all a little heads up, I don't know if you want to go over there because it's looking like it's not that promising. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and play this video clip and, you know, let her give her little spill behind why she feels that a lot of men are single. And then I'll give my take. Okay. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and, and play this. Have y'all seen this article yet? This article says that 60% of young men are single and about 30% or so of women are not. The reason for the huge difference isn't exactly clear, but they say that perhaps some women are just dating other women. But what really stood out was the obvious fact that over time, women no longer need men for the things that they needed them for before. In the past, women needed to get married because that was the only way that they could have some sort of economic climb. Now women can make money, they can go to school, they can take care of themselves. So they want more from men. But the gag is a lot of men do not have more to give. And those aren't even my words. Those are coming from Professor Ronald Levant of the University of Akron. Oh, now again, we had a whole live dope discussion you know, pretty much debunking all of that crap. But, you know, just to give a quick little recap and a spill on what she's saying, like, girl, please have several seats. All right. 
y'all absolutely do need men a lot of y'all are struggling and suffering by yourselves like last time that i checked you all and you all can correct me if i'm wrong but it was a lot of studies going on that indicated that a lot of women were out here ending up homeless getting evicted you know and let's not sleep on the fact that women don't make as much money as the men do so her trying to go into this whole spill of you know it's because we don't see the value of men anymore and that's why these men are single it's because we're dating each other and like i said those relationships don't last long that's first things first and then second off those relationships are extremely toxic so it's not really the brag or the flex that you think that it is ma'am see the real scoop is a lot of men are single not because women don't want them oh no we've seen all the different articles videos blogs of women desperately begging for men to take them in oh i'm ready to be submissive now oh i'm ready to love a man now oh i'm done being in the streets now i'm ready to just settle down oh we've seen all of that honey so it's not that, you know, there's this shortage of women. Oh, no. The issue is a lot of men don't see the value in settling down with women because let's just be honest, you all. And again, I have to say this, salute and shout out to the authentic women that are doing what they need to do, right? That respect men, that love men, that value men. Like, salute to you all. But it's way too many of us out here that don't really bring much to a man's life we don't really add on in positive ways to a man's life to make him say oh okay yeah i'm gonna go ahead and accept you and take you in no we come with a lot of baggage we come with a bunch of demands commands disrespect and we're just overall liabilities and distractions that's just what it is and again salute to the women that it does not apply to but that's the bulk of what's going on today and that's why men younger and younger are not dating like that this is why 60 percent of men are out here uh single and not ready to mingle it has nothing to do with women being so liberated and empowered and rich and everything to do with men trying to protect themselves and men trying to elevate evolve and grow and a lot of women just being honest taking them down in the process of them trying to build that has been the overall um outcome for a lot of men and they're just not dealing with it and like i said younger and younger men are even coming to these conclusions of dating is not worth it getting married is not worth it having families and all it's not worth it i'm happier by myself i'm more freer by myself you know i'm more stable more healthy by myself i can focus better like that's what we're dealing with today do I like it? No, because I know that if men and women were able to come together as a unit and pour into each other and respect re uh, each other and um, reciprocate and appreciate, we could thrive. I am that chick to where I would never say, oh, you know, men don't need women and women don't need men. Like, no, we're obviously put here together for a divine, beautiful reason but let's be clear a lot of the women are not women so a man don't need you ma'am a man does not need a genetically modified modern day 304 distracting him you know what i'm saying again y'all sit around like the gross sisters with your hands out gimme 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 that's not a woman a man doesn't need that in his life a lot of y'all are you know sprinkle sprinkle disciples talking about how you need to use a man up level up off of him and discard of him like men don't need that so yeah i, I can't blame the men when the average typical selection of women are just not up to par and again i can't even call them women and I really do feel sorry once again for the authentic women that 
do what they need to do, that understand their roles, that understand that, you know, we do need to reciprocate and appreciate and respect and pour in and love and like I salute to y'all. But a lot of y'all will miss out because the majority are just trash. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. Okay. I'm sorry. I just got to be real. So that's why over 60% of young men are single. It's not because women are passing them up. It's not because women don't see the value in them and they don't have anything to bring. If that were really the case, why are so many women trying to finesse men in the first place? Why do we have sprinkle sprinkles out there talking about how you need to get with a man if you don't need them, if y'all were not struggling? I'm just saying. See, I'm going about saying that we need men for valuable reasons. We need men because as women, like I said earlier, we're designed to be complementary to one another. We're designed to want to nurture, to want to love, to want to share our lives with a family unit. Again, nature designed us that way. We're meant to balance out, to assist, to help. We need men for those reasons. We need men to not only just provide and protect and lead, you know, but we also need men to teach us, give us guidance, to love us so that we can love on them. We're programmed to want to love, to want to nurture. At least we're supposed to be. But like I said, we're GMO out of our natural organic states. Which is, again, why a lot of men don't want to be with us. Let's just be clear. Okay. And again, y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe to some real talk. And so y'all can play up all of these lies all that you want to talking about, oh, we don't need men. And, you know, we don't want men and we're with each other. And that's why. No. Men are single and not ready to mingle because they are elevating and they see us as distractions and liabilities. You are not the reason behind why men are single. If men wanted you, they could have you. And let me say this, because I'm getting ready to play the second part of this video. And then I have another clip that I'm telling y'all right now, y'all are going to die laughing. Okay. That clip that I just played was so much of a lie and fabrication and just trying to pacify women and make them feel better about not being chose, you know, that, you know, you have a lot of women coming to the forefront now. Like I said earlier, they're begging, they're pleading with these men. They're now trying to act right and be on the men's program. Like you got all that going on and it has gotten so serious that you now have women out here trying to ask the men, like, what do you all need from us? Let's get into it. See, it was one thing when we were pretending very well because maybe we had people to amp us up and, and, and tell us more lies. But as life continues to settle in and reality starts to really come to the surface and we can no longer just pretend like we're good and we're living these luxurious lives. When we're no longer able to do that, things get real, especially when we can actively see that the men are serious about not dealing with us. Then we go into a frenzy. Then we start panicking like, okay, we do need men. We do want men. We see that you men are going overseas. We see that you men are checking out altogether. We see that you men are elevating and you're not including us in the elevation. Like we see all of this and it's getting real out here. You're on the uh, come up and we're on the decline. So what do we need to do as women to be a part of your program? Why are so many of you all not settling down with us? What's going on? Women are extremely alarmed right now. Let's get into it. And again, like, share, comment, and subscribe. This is how bad it has gotten. It has gotten so bad that women are like, okay, fellas, we're tired of fronting. We've been lying this whole time, pretending. 
We see that you all are serious. So what can we do as women to fix this and change this? Let's get into it. For the men and the men only, what is the real reason that you've given up on dating altogether or haven't dated in 10 plus years? So she's asking the men that we supposedly don't care about or don't need, hey, what's going on? Why is it that so many of you are checked out and done with dating? Like, how can we fix this? Now, the comments went bonkers. This guy says it's not worth it anymore. We are never good enough. This guy says there's no benefit to it anymore. I risk my life and reputation for a woman who will leave as soon as I can provide or she gets bored. Not worth it. This guy says real men are tired of being played. We don't want the games. We just want the real deal. This guy says, I would love to date, but it's absolutely not worth the risk or the expense or the effort. Women don't love anymore. They only take. Wow. That's crazy. This person says there is nothing beneficial in it for us. They have unrealistic expectations. They want everything and there's no reciprocation. Better to be alone. Wow. It says. Uh, tired of women saying they want a good man, but put us on the friends list and go out with the bad guy and do nothing but complain to us about it. That's facts. A lot of women do that. It says suddenly realized that I had nothing to gain from a relationship. I clean my own home. I keep it clean, cook, and it's peaceful. This person says it's all about them. It's no give back. So all the way around, a lot of guys are just done with it. It says, in my experience, social media has turned most women towards caring more about attention from everyone than an actual respectable relationship. So again, I ask you all, like, if men were only single due to women not wanting them anymore, due to women uh, having their own money, due to women dating each other, why are we even asking these men what's going on and how can we fix it? Why is it so many men out here that are like, it's not worth it. I'm checked out and I'm done. I don't want to deal with women. Why do we have that going on? If what that previous chick said was true, please stop. And what was the icing on the cake for me? As far as, you know, what I have been saying is true. Um, with women needing men and women wanting men and you know men being staple pieces in our lives as women was the fact that i saw this all right and i'm not gonna lie you all this this really screamed to me absolute desperation and it absolutely screamed to me that, like I said, what I have been saying was true. Look at what these chicks are doing now. <laughs> Y'all, what is this? What is this? The boyfriend snuggle pillow? <laughs> this is crazy. Y'all mean to tell me that y'all are now so desperate and lonely and cold from winter being here that now you have to go and get a man like teddy bear to hold you at night and keep you warm? <laughs> I told y'all. I told y'all. Look, all y'all had to do was be respectful be loving, be supportive, be caring, be decent human beings. That's all you had to do. <laughs> all you had to do was be decent human beings, but you couldn't do that right. Now look at you. This is pitiful, pathetic, a shame. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all selves. Oh, we don't need men. We got our own money. We good. 
We just going to deal with each other. Where is your woman then, ma'am? Why do you have to go and get a man like Teddy Bear to snuggle up with if y'all were just so checked out and done with men? Y'all got your own money. Y'all dealing with other w women. Where's the women? Oh, I forgot. Those relationships don't last long at all. Oh, I forgot. Those relationships are more toxic than the relationships y'all had with men. My bad. I forgot about that part. So now you have no choice but to go and get you a Freddy bear. Oh, girl, I got to go home to Freddy. Oh, who, who's Freddy, girl? You got you, got you a man? Oh, girl, Freddie is just my um man like Teddy Bear. Yeah, he like six foot tall. You know what I'm saying? Like a medium little build. Like, yeah, I got to get home to Bay. Crying. Crying at night in Freddie Bear's arms. Wishing that he was warm. Wishing that he had a pulse. Like, this could have all been avoided. Y'all didn't want to listen. This, to me, said it all. Okay, I told y'all so. If these women were truly happy without men, why do they have to resort to doing this craziness? Okay, this is crazy, but hey, it is what it is. <sighs> Just thought I would come through and share this. Very unfortunate, sad news with you all, as far as a lot of these chicks just being. On the decline, we see that you all are winning. We see that you all are prospering. We see that you all are elevating and you're doing it with grace. You're doing it with ease. You're doing it without us and we cannot take it. It is that bad. We cannot even fake it no more, okay? We cannot fake it and we definitely cannot take it. Look at what's happening. Look at what we have to do now because the men are done crazy well ladies you made your bed so you might as well lay in it with freddie bear anyway y'all like the video share the video and subscribe let me know how you feel about this very unfortunate news um are you somebody that is checked out and done with dating let me know uh do you still have hope i hope that you do but if you don't i can't even blame you but i'll see y'all later much love and peace to my crown heads Ladies, let's do better. This is pathetic. Peace.